Um, we have here today um, Olivier Flageux. He's your representative from Chemical Astra Service, Service here in France. And um, he will show us how to use SciFinder to set yourself apart from the competition uh, by being the most prepared and well researched candidate for your next step in your career. Olivier? Yes, thank you all to be present here. Well, I'm uh, Olivier Flagel. I'm an uh, account manager in France, Monaco, and Luxembourg for CAS. I work also with uh, two colleagues, Martin Michel and uh, Nathalie Rockmawet. She was hired very recently in April. But if you have any question about uh, SciFinder, don't hesitate to, to contact me or my colleagues. Could we... Uh... So as you may know, uh, CAS is a division of the American Chemical Society. And uh, we were uh, making uh, SciFinder since 1994, so it's a long journey. Uh, this tool is very important. And as GPS have changed life for taking a trip, SciFinder have changed the way we do research. So today I'm going to show you some little practical examples that can help you in your everyday work. So for example, about your career and things you have to do in your job, you can use SciFinder to search for bibliographic information. You have to know that SciFinder is a tool where you have all the databases that are made by CAS. You have bibliographic database that's called CA Plus with more than 45 million of reference from journals, more than 10,000 journals and 63 patent authorities. So that represents a lot of reference that have been cured since more than 100 years by indexers from Columbus at Ohio. There are about 1,000 1, persons working there, and you have like 5,000 of indexers that are reading all the literature that comes from every part of the world of the scientific world and they have to read all the documents and index them with keywords and the registry numbers that have been made since the um, late uh, 65, 1965. So let's get to the practical uh, part of the search. So we have a case here where you have to investigate the preparation of the synthesis of anti-cancer chemotherapy drug called tox Taxol. And you are asked to pull together research on what other companies or organizations are filling patents related to this same drug. So now I'm going to switch on to the live part. So today I'm going to present you SciFinder Classic, but also the new version SciFinder Hand that began on June 2017. So for the first example, we want to search for a molecule that is called Taxol. So you can see on the left side, the possibility to seek for references, substance, and reactions. So we go into the substance identifier, and we just type the name of the molecule. So it's very simple, you know. 
you can retrieve like this the molecule with the registry number you have here. If you click on the registry number, you have the full substance with all the information about the molecular wave, the formula, and also the structure of the molecule. And then you have all the experimental properties that have been collected. So you, you have to know that there's about 2.5 billion of properties that have been calculated for registry file. So the registry file is the file that contains all the molecules that have a registry number. Today we have like 138 million of little molecules and 65 million of sequences and amino acids. So if I am going to look for the references that are talked about, about this specific compound, I just click on the little icon here. And then you have the selection of what kind of subject you want to look about this molecule. We are asking for the preparation of this taxol molecule. So we click on the role preparation. We go to go. And then we are going to obtain all the references, <coughs> journals, and patents that are talking about the preparation of this molecule. On the left side, you have an automatic analysis. And then you can pick up some information that have been analyzed directly by SciFinder. So for example, I have a tab that is called Refine that is very useful to refine your search. We have a plenty of references. So we can look, for example, for a specific document type, like patent. So we select patent, and we go to refine. Then in this uh, results, you can see you have 900 of reference about preparation of taxol in patents area. From there, you can be satisfied of the result, and you can tell to yourself, well, now I can set up an alert. So if you want to set up an alert, it's just very simple. You click here on the Keep Me Posted icon. You type a name. And then you can describe what's all about it. So you can remember when you receive an email telling you that new references have been in the system. So you can go to look, to take a look. So you see, it's very simple to create. Then if you want to still refining, because you have a lot of references, you can be uh, sure you can focus, for example, in a publication date. So we can take a recent publication date, for example, from 2016 to 2018. And you can see now you have 100 reference left. So you can still refine and pick up, for example, 
references that are written in uh, English, French, and for example, Spanish. So you can see little by little you are string, uh, restricting your corpus of reference into the one you want to, to look about. So with this example, we saw that it's very simple to look for a specific molecule and to set up some alerts about, for example, all the patents that are published around the globe. So now I'm going to show you a little video. So this video is about the new version of SciFinder, SciFinder N. A research scientist's day is pretty full. But what would you accomplish on your ideal day? I get a difficult synthesis to work. I find a novel therapeutic target. We impress some VC investors. But what's your actual day like? I hunt through patents looking for buried chemistry. I comb through search results for hours. I browse endless articles trying to keep up, but still feel behind. In reality, less than half of researchers' time is actually spent on research. What if you could make every day your ideal day, with less search and more research? Well, now you can, with the power of N, SciFinder N. SciFinder N is built on the most comprehensive and trusted collection of chemical research information, and it sets a new standard for ease of use, chemically relevant search, and actionable content. The SciFinder N interface makes the whole search experience easier, yet more powerful. The streamlined search box allows you to search structures and text at once. The dynamic search history lets you rerun any of your past searches. SciFinder N has the most advanced chemical relevancy engine in the business. It doesn't just match words, it finds meaning from your perspective as a chemist. So you get the search results you really want. Results are displayed in a format designed for quick comprehension. And you can filter results with a single click. Once you find relevant answers, SciFinder N takes you directly to the important but hard to find chemistry and helps you understand it. And provides step-by-step -step synthetic procedures that you can take right to the lab. SciFinder N is a new platform built for the future from the ground up. It opens up great new possibilities, such as predictive synthesis technology, that will leverage our leading collection of chemical reactions. You'll have a wealth of new ideas to assist your synthetic planning process. With SciFinder N, everything works together to answer your questions faster than ever, so you can take action with confidence. Your whole team will work more efficiently with seamless access to the right information, so your actual day is more like your ideal day. Less search, more research. That's the power of N. SciFinder N. Well, so that was a brief inter introduction about the new SciFinder version. So we can get along with the next step of our searches. So for example, have you ever thought of using SciFinder in your job search to search for a graduate program? Well, actually you, you can. For example, if you are a student and you are interested in finding a job in the pharmaceutical industry, you can do it very easily. So I'm going to go to SciFinder and to, to show you how to do it. So that was the classical SciFinder that you have in the university. And the brand new version is very different looking. It's very more powerful than before. And so if you pick up in the references all the articles that are talking about pharmaceutical, for example.
SciFinder is so powerful that it can bring you all the reference containing pharmaceutical concept. So actually here we have more than one million reference. So if you are looking about a company you want to work, on the left side you can uh, refine all the reference you have. So it's very quick and efficient. For example, here we are going to go to organization. And you see on the bottom, you can see a link to see all the organizations. You click on view all. So they are classified in counts. So the top counts, for example, I can pick up two big industries I know. For example, Hoffman, La Roche and Pfizer. And you can see how many references there are behind each company. So you can apply the filter. Then you can very easily focus on patents. You just click on the left side. Sorry about this. So you can see we have selected the companies. And you could you can have a look inside each reference. And on the left side, you can see, for example, for this patent, it's from Pfizer. The advantage of SciFinder N is that you have many models that are already there. The option that is called Patent Pack and Methods Now is already provided in this new version. In the SciFinder Classic, you have to ask to add these modules to have access of, to it. So now all is integrated in one place, so it's very much more easy for us to seek for what we, are, what we want. Here you have, for example, the history, so you have a very quick an easy way to look for all the searches you have made through the time. Here you can select any research you have made on each day. The advantage also of SciFender N is that you can open a new tab and begin a new search. So it's very powerful. So for example, I can see so here you have an example of a patent pack reference. You have the button here. And you can download directly the PDF version of the patent. So if I go back to pick up the search I've made, I can ask myself, well, it's interesting to know uh, that I can work in some area of companies, but I can also look for 
some university. For example, I can pick up an exotic uh, university like Kyoto University. So the sort is by relevance. And if you want to sort, sort by the new west, you just click here, and then you have the most recent on the top. That's an advantage, because you can see afterwards what is the author that is working the most publication in the Kyoto University. So to see that, you click on author, and here you have, for example, the professors that are working a lot in pharmaceutical area. So you can click on the name of the person and then look for all the patents, uh, the publications that they have made. It can be patents, it can be journals. What, what, what you can do also is to pick up, for example, the name of a specific professor and to look inside the references to look for all the uh, work he has done, whether it's pharmaceutical or not. So to do it, you go to advanced search and you type the name of the searcher and just click on search. So we can see very easily that he has made a lot of publications, but sometimes the names of the professor can be the same beyond the age, so you can be sure you want to focus, for example, on the new, new publications, and you can apply and then uh, download very easily all the references made by this professor. So if you want to have an interview with him, you can know exactly what these professors have, have made. So you just click here, for example, and you're going to download all the PDF of the 200 and something reference. In PDF version, you can keep on your desktop and then go to read the abstracts of all the references. So co concerning the version of SciFinder Classic, what we could have done, for example, for this taxol molecule, is to click on the registry number and to look for other ways to have preparations of this compound. For example, you can go on the structure and you click here and you, you tell to the system you want to look for the synthesis of this compound. So you have like 2,000 of reactions and you can then refine, for example, for number of steps like one to three. So we, you will get uh, less gas react. What you could do also is to analyze, for example, all the gas react that contains methods now information. So methods now information, it's uh, detailed information about, for example, the synthesis of these molecules. You have like four millions of methods now available now. You click on just one bar and you keep analysis. Then if you look inside the 26 that have been retrieved, you have just here, the possibility to view, to view the methods now information with all the steps of the synthesis and the detailed procedure you can 
read easily in a table. So this is an add-on you have to ask to have on the classical SciFinder. But this is already provided in the SciFinder end. And for methods now, you have also a specific uh, interface for all the analytical chemistry related protocols. It's about like 4,000 protocols that are accessible in a specific interface. Well, I've finished. If you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate. I hope that the new version of Siphon the Hand you like. Yes? Yeah. You have access to the full PDF that you know, the, the papers, you have the PDF? Yes, you have access to the full PDF. That's the advantage of the patent pack option. You have uh, all the families related of the patent. So, for example, if you have a patent from China and it's you have the family member from the world, WU, WO, for you, you can click on the link and access directly to the PDF written in English. Yeah, this is for the patents for the journals. It's the same? For the journals? Yeah. So your question was about the patents or the journals? Both. Well, you have to know that in SciFinder you have only bibliographic references. So if you want to have access to the full text or primary document, you have to click on link to other sources button and then you go outside of SciFinder because it's different separate. And then you can buy, for example, the article uh, to the publisher separately. Any other questions about the, the tools? Yes? Yes, I'm coming. Si ça vous dérange pas, je vais poser la question en français parce que mon oui. anglais n'est pas <laughs> excellent. Avec plaisir. <laughs> euh, je voulais savoir si il euh, y avait la possibilité d'avoir le mail de l'auteur principal, par exemple, pour éventuellement, comme ça se fait dans certaines bases de données, envoyer euh, un mail à l'auteur pour obtenir le document si euh, l'établissement dans lequel on est n'est pas abonné à la ressource. Alors, euh, le mail peut-être présent des fois, mais si vous voulez, euh, je ne pense pas que ce soit systématiquement mis, parce que dans une référence euh, donnée, vous avez euh, les auteurs qui sont décrits, donc vous avez jusqu'à 10 auteurs, et si vous avez des auteurs complémentaires, il y a la mention « et all ». Donc ça ne répond pas vraiment à votre question, mais <rire> c'est les éléments que je peux vous donner... Euh, Si on revient par exemple sur SciFinder N, on clique sur. Euh à la fin de l'abstract, quel le, le mail le... Voilà, c'est sur le document primaire, ouais. c'était dans le, le document primaire qu'on peut retrouver ce genre d'informations. Donc. Euh Là, sinon, on peut mettre aussi en place euh, sur SciFinder. You, you, uh, you can also put in SciFinder N, like uh, what we called alerts. So uh, you can look for specific uh, questions. And the advantage of SciFinder N is that you can have a couple, couplet references and structure at the same time. That's not possible on the SciFinder classic uh, tool. That is a very big uh, advantage also of uh, the new version, SciFinder. En fait, euh, j'avais oublié de vous informer qu'il a un petit cadeau pour des participants qui font des questions. Donc, on a encore, euh, euh, je pense, quatre petits cadeaux. Uh, il s'agit d'une uh, Amazon card uh, uh, pour utiliser dans Amazon. 
So, ano si Fede Kestion, Fede Kestion. On va voir si on a assez de cadeaux pour les prochaines séances, mais je vous garantis que tu vas faire beaucoup de questions après. Event in uh, we did a roadshow in the UK and uh, the guy presenting uh, on chemical abstracts uh, on SciFinder actually mentioned that 70% of uh, compounds appear in the patent literature before they're actually published uh, in a journal. You know that was an eye opener for me. It just shows the power of SciFinder to get give you that early access to information. So I just thought I should pass that on as well because I, I thought it was wonderful. So just to close, I, I wanted to to show you the communication about the future leader program. So if you want to apply into uh, the future leader program, you can look inside this uh, page that is called about future lead future leaders in the cas.org website. Well, thank you for your intention. Don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you very much.